Allah, we surrender ourselves to you, we turn our attention to you, we entrust our affairs to you, we depend and lean on you. I'll say it one more time. O oh Allah, we surrender ourselves to you. We turn our attention to you. We entrust our affairs to you. We depend and we lean on you out of love and fear of you. There is no escape from you except to you. There is no escape from you except to you. We believe in the messenger that you have sent and in the book that you have revealed. Ameen. O oh Allah, we ask you to witness this gathering. We ask you to give us openings in this night. Allahumma inna nas'aluka khayra hadhihi al-layla fathaha wa nasraha wa nuraha wa barakataha wa hudaha. O oh Allah, we ask you for the good of this night, its openings, its victories, its illumination, its guidance and its blessings. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, if this is the night of power, if this is Laylatul Qadr, then pardon our sins. You love to pardon. You are the pardoner. Pardon our sins, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, and if it's not the night of power, you are the pardoner and you love to pardon, so pardon our sins, Ya Allah. You are the Lord of the night of power, and you are our Lord. You are our Rabb. You are our owner. You are our caretaker. You are, you are our owner. You are our caretaker. You are the one who grows us and molds us. We belong to you, Ya Allah. We belong to you, Ya Allah. We turn to you, Ya Allah. We seek you, Ya Allah. We yearn for you. You are our mission. You are our goal. You are our everything. Ya Allah. You bring life from death. You bring, you bring victory from failure. You do as you please. You are capable of everything. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, witness this moment. Ya Allah, we turn our hearts to you. Ya Allah, we can't save our own marriages. We can't save our own children. Ya Allah, we can't save our own brothers. We can't save our own sisters. We can't save our parents. But you can, Ya Allah. We come in this night and we ask for big, big openings, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, and we come in this night, in this special place, in this special month, Ya Allah, turning to you because you are our Lord. You are our everything, Ya Allah. Accept from us, Ya Allah. Ameen. Send peace and blessings on our master, our teacher, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's in our tradition, our teachers, our scholars, they advise us to change up your regimen of worship because it renews you, right? It renews your energy. Right, so we change it up. We read some Quran, we do some dhikr, we do some fikr, uh, we do some dua, we do some prayer, and each time it's renewal, you know. And that's why, you know, commercials and cartoons they got it down. So they they change the screen every moment. So your your attention is renewed, right? But our scholars, our psychologists, the scholars of the soul and the nafs, they they've known this for a long time. So that's the intention for tonight. Uh, when we read Qur'an, four things happen, right? Uh, tranquility descends. We are immersed in mercy. We are surrounded by angels. And God mentions us in a greater gathering. And so that's our intention, inshallah, in these big intentions, in these big, big moments. And God is capable. So anything you have, anything you're carrying, bring it now. Bring it and give it to God. Anything you're carrying, Allah is capable. And the key to openings, the key to gifts from God is desperation. You want gifts from God to come pouring down, showering down upon you? Desperation. To be desperate. The opposite of that is to be independent. I don't need you, God. I'm smart enough, I'm rich enough, I'm active enough, I'm strong enough. I don't need you, all right? And so we come with desperation, with brokenness. We offer God everything we have, which is our nothingness. 
And we ask God, we bring to God our sins, our arrogance, our pride, our vanity, our argumentation, our backbiting. And we ask God, we give those to God, and we ask Him to replace it for us with hasanat, with reward, with mercy, with love, with gentleness, with paradise. And He's generous. He's the most generous of the generous. He's capable. So uh, as we read the Qur'an in this month of the Qur'an, um, sometimes, you know, we have a, a goal to finish a certain number of pages uh, in a day, which is good, which is a lofty goal. And, and then while we're reading those pages, whether it's in Arabic or English, and each one has its merit and benefit, sometimes something will touch us. A few words might hit us. We might land. They might feel different. And when that happens, know that that's a breeze from the divine. <laughs> and when that happens, sit in that breeze and don't move. Don't go anywhere. Forget about your pages that you have to finish for the next hour. Forget about, forget about everything. Nafahat. Inna lillahi nafahat. God has these breezes, so expose yourself to them. So in that breeze, sit. And say it over. And say it again. And say it again. And say it slow. And say it, and think about the first word. When you say it. And say it, and say it. And then, think about the second word. And say it and say it, and say it, and then think about the third word, and say it, and say it, and say it, and let it just paint you, Sibrat Allah, let God paint you, and what better paint is there, let it cleanse us, and we do that also even when we say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la in the sujood, sometimes think about the word Subhana, Sometimes think about the word Rabb. Some, sometimes think about the word E. My. Because each one has its different power and effect and cure. Rabbi is the most word that we say as a Muslim following Islam. The most word that we say as a Muslim. If we do the fard, the obligations, is not Allahu Akbar. It's not la ilaha illallah, it's Rabbi. Because we say it in the ruku' three times, in sujood three times, in sujood three times, nine times a rak'ah, we pray 17 rak'ahs a day. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Asha, 17 times nine is 153, Rabbi. Why did God choose that word for, to be the word? What does Rabb mean? Rabb has three layers. G-O-T. Rabb has three layers. God is growing us, growing us. So yeah, sometimes we get a test. Sometimes He's molding us. Sometimes we get squeezed. Sometimes we get a difficulty. He's growing us into something bigger and better, just like we grow our children sometimes. The O is He owns us. And the T is He's taking care of us. And so when you think of Rabb, we can think of each of those layers. And Rabbi... E, 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 my, I have, a, I have a Lord. A lot of people are living this world, they don't have a Lord. They don't have a master, they don't have an owner. They're lost. It's meaningless, it's purposeless, it's aimless, it's directionless. We have a direction, Jannah. <laughs> we have a purpose, it's amazing. Right? And then you say, Al-A'la. And so each one, each one has a beauty. And so you enjoy that breeze. And our Prophet, peace be upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Sahaba, when that breeze would come, they would say the same verse over and over and over in the, in the same night. And so this is, this is from our Sunnah. This is our way so we can connect with that, with that verse. Sallu al Habib. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Sallu al Habib. One more time. Sallu al Habib. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alayhi. Say with me. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina 
محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Inshallah, I want to share one story with you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahum salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And this is a story of the, uh, the uh, historical figure in many of our cultures and civilization called uh, Juha, Hoja. Any other names you guys know about him? Juha, comical figure, but historical, real figure. And so Juha, one time, he was, uh, he was, he was walking with his son. And they, they had a donkey. And they were walking, and they had the donkey. And so uh, Juha, the father, was sitting on the donkey, and his son was walking. And they passed by some people. And the people looked at Juha, and he said, what a heartless father. He's making his child walk. So Juha said, oh man, yeah, my God. So then he, he got off the donkey and he put his son to sit. And so they continued walking. And then they passed some other people. And the people said, look at that son with no adab. <laughs> He's sitting on the donkey and he's making his father walk. What kind of adab is that? No manners. Look at the kids, these children these days. So Juha said, okay. We're both sit on the donkey. So the father sits on the donkey, the son sits on the donkey, and they continue walking. And then they pass by another group of people, and the group of people... They look at Juha and his son, and they say, look at that heartless family putting all that weight on that poor donkey. What bad manners. So Juha says, okay, let's get off the donkey so we don't put too much weight on the donkey. So Juha and the son start walking next to the donkey. And then they walk by another group of people, and the people say, look at those imbeciles. They have a donkey, and neither, no one's riding it. <laughs> so then Juha takes the donkey and carries the donkey above his head and starts walking. <laughs> and the moral of the story is, if we're chasing the approval and the pleasure of people, we're making ourselves lower than donkeys. And so there is there is رضا الله غاية لا تدرك ورضا الناس غاية رضا الله غاية لا تترك ورضا الناس غاية لا تدرك فترك ما لا يدرك ودرك ما لا يترك Pleasing people is a goal you will never achieve and pleasing Allah is a goal you should never leave so achieve what you should never leave and leave what you'll never achieve. <laughs> they say, there's a, a quote that says, you know, in my 20s, I used to care about what people thought about me. You know, I, I had to dress like them. What are they going to think about my, my, my hijab? What are they going to think about my clothes? What are they going to think about my hair? What are they going to think about my car? What are they going to think about my house? What are they going to think about my, about my wife, about my husband? What are they going to think about my joke? What are they going to think about my job, my career, my promotion? What are they going to think? And then in my 30s, you know, I got courageous. And so I said, you know what? I don't care what people think about me. 
I don't care anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be me. I'm going to live my own life. I'm going to be authentic, <laughs> which is another discussion for another day. So they start becoming free of people's opinions and approvals. And then, in their 40s, they realize no one was actually ever thinking about them. <laughs> but a Muslim, in their 50s, realizes Allah was thinking about them and looking at them the whole time. Like, ah, okay, it's about Allah. Right? And so in conclusion, I leave you with this beautiful aphorism from Ibn Ata'illah, beautiful hikmah. And this is, I leave you with this gift to take this away, inshallah, from this night. Inshallah, we also take away paradise, say ameen, and exemption from hellfire, say ameen, because that's what it's all about. Everything else is a distraction. We're only here for a few days. And so, غيب نظر الخلق إليك بنظر الله إليك وغب عن شهود إقبالهم عليك بشهود إقباله عليك Ibn Ata'illah says Vanish from your eyes the sight of people on you in exchange for the sight of God on you Did you get that? Vanish from your eyes from your perspective, people's eyes on you, in exchange for God's eye on you. When we make that shift, that paradigm shift, it's so comforting. It's so relaxing. It's so liberating. It's so empowering. It's so empowering. And the second part of the aphorism, وَغِبْ عَنْ شُهُودِ إِقْبَالِهِمْ عَلَيْكَ بِشُهُودِ إِقْبَالِهِ عَلَيْكَ And ignore people approaching you and witness God approaching you. And ignore people approaching you and witness God approaching you. Allah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Amazing. Amazing. And so I leave you with that, inshallah, so we can worship Allah as if we see Him, and if we don't see Him, we know that He sees us. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So we don't end up carrying the donkey, inshallah. Say ameen. So in this last third of the night, God asked three questions. Who is calling me so I may answer him? Who is asking me so I may give him? And who is seeking my forgiveness so I may forgive him? And so we say, we are, Ya Allah. We're calling you, Ya Allah. Ya, we're calling you, Ya Allah. We're calling you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we're calling you. 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 And we know you're the all hearing. Ya Allah, we're asking you. Ya Allah, we're asking you. Ya Allah, we're asking you. And we know you're the one who responds. Al Mujib. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we're seeking your forgiveness. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, if you don't forgive us, what will happen to us? You're the only one who can forgive us. Forgive us, Ya Allah, for the sins that we did privately and publicly, the ones we know of and don't know of. Ya Allah, when we go to our grave, let us be surprised with our rewards, not with our sins. When we meet you, Ya Allah, let us be surprised with our rewards, not our sins, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, don't let us go to our deathbed in, in feelings of remorse and feelings of regret. When we meet you, let us not have remorse and regret. Let us have celebration. Let us have celebration. Ya Allah, we yearn for you. Ya Allah, we yearn for you, Ya Allah. 
We yearn to be with you. We yearn to meet you. We learn to be reunited with you. This is not our home. Irji'i ila rabbiki. Come back to your Lord. Come back to your Lord. Fadkhuli fi ibadi. Wadkhuli jannati. Enter into my servants and enter my, my paradise. Ya Allah, we're, this is not our home. You are our home. Ya Allah, help us reflect our Prophet's beautiful character, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Connect us with him outwardly and inwardly. Help us love him. Help us emulate him. Help us represent him. Help us represent him. Ya Allah, we miss him. We wish we could have met him. We wish we could have seen him. We wish we could have held him. We wish we could have hugged him. Just one nadra, just one look, just one glance, just one moment to elevate us, to inspire us, to set us straight. Just one word, just one voice, just one moment to witness. Ya Allah, help us fall in love with our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Help us obey him. Help us follow him so that you can love us and forgive us. As you say in the Quran, we want you to love us, Ya Allah, and we follow your beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Allah, help us live the meanings of La ilaha illallah the multiple layers of meanings of la ilaha illallah there's no one we worship except you there's no one that there's no one there's no one there's no one that we seek except you there's no one there's no one that we seek except you ya allah there's no one there's no one that owns us except you ya allah ya allah there's no one worthy of worship except you ya allah there's no one's opinion there's no one's approval that we seek other than you and those who you want us to seek, our parents and our teachers. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, help us experience the sweetness of this faith. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. April 12, 2023, 21st of Ramadan. Ya Allah, here we are in this masjid in your house. Coming for what? Nothing except Allah. We're knocking on your door, Ya Allah. We're doing i'tikaf at your door. And we won't leave until you open for us, Ya Allah. And we have husn al -dhan. We have a good opinion of you. That you are the merciful of the merciful. You are the generous of the generous. You are the king of kings. And we're coming to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we're desperate. Ya Allah, we're desperate. Ya Allah, we're broken. Ya Allah, we're sinful. We're sinful, Ya Allah. We're lost, we're arrogant, we're prideful, we're jealous. We love money, we love image, we love materials, we love food, we love all the things. But do we love you? Have we lived our life for you? Have we honored you? Have we respected you? Have we obeyed you? Have we read your Qur'an? Have we served our parents? Have we honored our parents? Did we sleep through all the nights? Did we ever get up at night? Do we ever get up at night and call your name? Did we let our Qur'an, our copy of the Qur'an get dusty? Do we look at things we shouldn't look at? Are we choosing this dunya over it? Are we distracted by this dunya? Do we love our work? Do we love our bank accounts? Do we think about our bank accounts more than we think about you, Ya Allah? Forgive us, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Clean our hearts, Ya Allah. Illuminate our hearts. 
Purify our hearts. Take care of our marriages. Take care of our children. Forgive us, Ya Allah. We bring to you sin, you bring to us forgiveness. We bring to you arrogance, you bring to us forgiveness. We bring to you jealousy and envy and disrespect, and you bring to us forgiveness and love and mercy and gentleness. Ya Allah, you bring life from death. You elevate who you want and you humiliate who you want. Don't humiliate us in this world or the next, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, our children. Ya Allah, our children. Ya Allah, our parents. Ya Allah, our sisters, our brothers. Ya Allah, those suffering around the world. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, our brothers and sisters in Yemen. Did we do anything for them? Are we too busy enjoying our steaks? Ya Allah, the leaders of the Muslim world, Ya Allah, guide them, Ya Allah. Guide them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we beg you, we beg you. We can't do anything. You, This is your story. This world is your domain. You design it as you please, and we don't reject the decree. You promise to test us, Ya Allah. But we beg you, Ya Allah, we beg you for our brothers, our sisters, our aunts, our uncles, our grandparents, our grandmas, our grandfathers, the little kids. The sisters, the women, Ya Allah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Mata Nasrullah. When is the help of Allah coming? When is the help of Allah coming? Ala inna Nasrullahi Qareeb. Ya Allah, your help is indeed near, and you are near, and we love you, Ya Allah, and we love you, and we need you, and we want you, and we seek you, and we live for you. You are our everything. We love you. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Cleanse us, Ya Allah. Grant us paradise, Ya Allah, with our parents. And if our parents have passed away, then illuminate their graves. Forgive all of their sins, Ya Allah. Send them a gift at this moment. Send them a gift at this moment. All of our ancestors and all of our relatives and all those we care about, and all the Muslims, send them a gift at this moment. Send them a gift at this moment. Ya Arham ar -Rahameen. We call you by your divine name. Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka bi anna nashhadu annaka anta Allah wahdaka la sharika lak al ahad al samad alladhi lam yalid wa lam yurad wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad Allahumma inna nas'aluka wa natawajjuh ilayka bi nabiyyika Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya Muhammad Allah help us remember you and help us thank you and help us worship you beautifully ya Allah thank you for this beautiful night coming from this beautiful religion and this beautiful month and this beautiful God, Amen. this beautiful Prophet وسلم, and you are our beautiful Lord, you are our beautiful Ilah. We love you, Ya Allah. We thank you, Ya Allah. Thank you for this beautiful religion. Thank you for this religion. Thank you for this guidance. Thank you for the guidance of Islam. Where would we be without it? Thank you for Islam. 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 Thank you for sending us our Prophet. Thank you for sending us our dear Prophet. Thank you for sending us our teacher. Thank you for sending us our role model. Thank you for sending us our captain. Thank you for sending us our hero. Our hero, Habibi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah. Thank you, thank you, Ya Allah. Thank you, Ya Allah. Thank you, Ya Allah. Write us from those who are thankful. Few people remember to thank you. Write us from the thankful, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, those who thank you, you increase them. We thank you for spiritual openings. We thank you for spiritual awakenings. We thank you for spiritual insights. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our health. We thank you for our wealth. We 
thank you for our friends. We thank you for our family. We thank you for the gifts. We thank you for every moment of bliss we had. We thank you for every smile. We thank you for every comfort, for every bite, for every sip, for, for every sitting, for every standing, for every walking, for everything. All good came from you. We thank you, Ya Allah. And those who thank you, you increase them because you are so generous. You are amazing. You are amazing. Subhan, Subhan, you are our Lord and we are yours. You are ours and we are yours. We belong to you. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, we know you. Alhamdulillah, you. Alhamdulillah, we know your name. Alhamdulillah, we know this way, your way of Islam. Alhamdulillah, we know your prophet. Alhamdulillah, we know your messenger. Thank you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you for sincerity. Ya Allah, we ask you, we ask you, Ya Allah, to bring forth from us a mujaddid, Ya Allah. Mujaddid, a renewer. We ask you to take care of our teachers and our scholars and their families and their children. Ya Allah. Ameen, Ameen. And we ask you for everything good that our dear Prophet Sallallahu has to report. And we seek protection from every harm that he sought protection from. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Aizat Ya'ma Yasifun wa salamu ala al-Musaleen wa alhamdulillahi wa rabbil alameen wa salli lahumma ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad al Nabi al-Ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salli al-Muslim al-Kathira Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Fatiha lima awliq al-Qadim lima sabab nasir al-Haqq bil-Haqq wal-Hadi ila siratika al-Mustaqim wa ala alihi wa ala qadrihi wa maqdari al-Azim salatan tunjina biha min jami'a al-Ahwali wal-Afat wa taqdi lana biha jami'a al-Hajat وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها عندك أعلى الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخلات في الحياة وبعد الممات إلى حضرة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الفاتحة